Hey there, Wendy here with Jazzy Doodle Designs, and let's take a look at my completed pages for September. I am so excited. I colored 21 pages this month. That is crazy. I have never colored that many before. Now, to be fair, 17 of them are in the Matchstick Mouse Pumpkin Party Coloring Book, which I colored for my grandson, so I don't have the book anymore. So, what I'll do is, after I show you these pages, I'll flip to my computer screen and I'll briefly touch on each of the pages. I won't talk about them. It'll just be a second or two for each page because there is a complete flip through on the channel. And I'll do it at the end, so if you've already seen that, you don't have to feel the need to watch it again. So let's get started. The first one is in Magical Dawn, Hannah Carlson. Now the first page I, or the page I colored is this one, and I was just doing this as a general color along. I used Prismacolor, Posca, and a Sparkle Pop pen. So let me see if I can get the light, oh, a little bit there, to reflect on those Sparkle Pop. In real life, it really adds a pop of color and and shine to the page it really just does not record well you know how glitter is it's a little fickle that way but i really like how soft this page turned out i purposely did not blend out all the white spots i'm sometimes i like them sometimes i don't sometimes i blend them out sometimes i don't but um i use neo color too in the background Prisma colored pencils, and there is a full color along on the channel. So everything will be listed in the box below. So next up is this page. Now this page I got kind of by accident. I wanted to try color by number. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I have a coloring quest color by number but it's kind of like a hidden it's a hidden picture and so you just color boxes or circles and that makes up the picture this was a little different as everything was kind of mapped out and they do provide you a map and a color guide and then there's a line art and a grayscale so I tried the color by number and I personally I I did do it and I wish I would have saved it so I could have showed you but I didn't really enjoy the process as much. And so I saw that there was a grayscale, and so I colored it, and I really like how it turned out. I think I love the, the color combination. I used Prismacolor colored pencils, and I just really enjoyed this. I will leave it a link in the description box. It was very reasonable. It was an, an immediate download. This is Bristol vellum paper that I printed it on. But I, I was being a dork and I thought I was missing one of the pages. In the end, it turns out I wasn't. But the lady was uh, responsive within, I don't know, 20 minutes of my question. She was back to me. She didn't hesitate. She resent it to me. And like I said, it was 100% my fault. I just... I don't know when I scrolled I didn't see it so I will leave a link for her shop in the description box because I do think it is pretty and she has quite a few next up is farm sweet farm now the backstory I'll go ahead and show you the page so you have something to look at uh, the backstory on this one is this is colored with neo color color neo color twos I always put on my on my community page a poll so that my members and my subscribers can choose what mediums I use, what book I work out of, and what colored pencils I use. And I had kind of stacked the deck. I had three Denise Klett books and an, uh, the, a Creative Haven book. And so one of the options I put was the Neo Color 2s, thinking 
it's more than likely going to be a Denise Klett book that has a lot of open backgrounds and nail color twos usually work well for that. And so <laughs> they chose Neo Color 2s, Black Widows, and the um, Gnome Sweet Gnome Creative Haven coloring book, which is great, but I thought, how am I going to work with Neo Color 2 on this Amazon paper? I mean, we all know it doesn't take water well. So I grabbed another book that has the same quality of paper, and I started playing around and that's what this is. So don't look too close because <laughs> this was me just trying out different things. So let me grab the, the actual one. So Gnome Sweet Gnome, love this book. Teresa, if, you're, if you ever watch this, you really outdid yourself because I love this book. So I did this fall page. And the way I did it was I used the Neo Color 2s and then I used a colorless blender. So this is an alcohol marker colorless blender. Now this one, this one in particular, I bought completely empty and then I filled it with 91% isopropyl alcohol. It still has the little nibs and it has the chisel, but I just fill this up with the rubbing alcohol. Now you can use like a Copic colorless blender or an Ohuhu colorless blender or any Art and Fly I think makes one. And I will link these. They were out of stock the last time um, like when I posted the color along because there is a color along for the entire process showing how I used the Neo Color 2s and how I used these pens to blend with and you can tell there is there's no warping there's no bleed through it's completely flat it worked a treat it was great um there's a couple of things i would change in terms of color choices and i talk about those on the on the color along but if you haven't checked it out, I encourage you to do it because it really opens up a whole new avenue to use these kind of pens or crayons. And, you know, everything here, with the exception of the little flowers, was colored in Neo Color 2s. Now, with those, I did use the Black Widow pencils. So I felt I had to do a Black Widow um, tutorial because... I was going to use Black Widow on this, but in the end, it just it turned out really good with just Neo Colors. So I may go back in and put in some more detail, but I might not. But I did do a Black Widow color along on the channel, and it will be coming out uh, this weekend. So anyway, there's that. So now I'm going to Hop onto my computer. I will show you the 17 pages very briefly in the book. I really appreciate you popping into my channel. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. I'm really close to a thousand members and I'm going to be doing a giveaway at that time of $50 gift card in addition to an hour one-on-one -on -one with me where we can talk about whatever you like. Um, we can just chat or if you have questions about um, what medium to use or how to use a medium or you want to show me your pictures and ask my advice if whatever you want we can you know we'll make that whatever you want and we can do it over zoom or whatever uh, is a good form of communication for you so i'm gonna zip over to the computer we'll see you then Okay, so here they are in order that they came in the book. See you on the next one.